With every major storm that hits San Jose, residents that live near Coyote Creek can't help but say a silent prayer, a wish that nothing like what happened in 2017 ever happens again. Everywhere we're standing right now is basically underwater. At this, time. yes, you'd have been standing at least ankle deep in water up here. If you had gone over to like 17th Street, there are some houses where you would just see the peak of their roof sticking up out of the water. Valley Water is trying to give residents along the creek a little more peace of mind. The Flood Protection Agency is literally building a barrier between water and land. A nine-mile stretch of the Coyote Creek from Montague Expressway to Tully Road will soon be protected by these flood walls. When a creek overflows, it, it basically exceeds the capacity of the water that the creek itself will carry. So when you build flood walls on either side, you're providing more of that space or volume for the water to be held back. A large stretch of the walls are installed near Berryessa. They stand between three to 10 feet tall, depending on the creek capacity in that area. What you don't see is the 30 feet of reinforced steel below the surface, providing a strong force to keep flood waters at bay. Engineers tend to avoid the word never. So while they can't say 2017 will never happen again, Valley Water is confident these walls will work. A 20 year storm is essentially the design year um, that we are designing this project around approximately and uh, likely that that kind of recurrence interval storms will not uh, cause, cause as, as, as much of a damage as we saw back then. For people who lived through that damage, a little peace of mind for the next storms. It should work. We'll, only, we'll have to wait and see. I'm willing to wait 100 years to find out. <laughs> Construction started last summer. The first 40% of the project will finish by next summer before it's on to the next phase. In San Jose, Dustin Dorsey, ABC7 News.